All right, hey, what's going on, guys? Socks456 here today with a discussion video. So today we're going to be discussing is Sonic's 30th anniversary going to be a boom or a bust? So mainly, um, I'm going to be focusing on the information that we got a few days ago, and um, I would be discussing if that will turn out to be a boom or if it will turn out to be a bust. So let's dive straight on into it. Sonic being a global powerhouse is the first thing on the list. And obviously, that is a fact. Him making over $6 billion is phenomenal for them. The Sonic movie, which I loved a lot, I just want the sequel to take it in a more, as Tyson has, Tyson has said, a more Sonic-y route. I think that would be, like, perfect. And the 30th anniversary, and the first thing that I noticed, even through that little description, is new games. So, here are the few ideas that I came up with for it to be a boom. So for the boom scenario, I believe that there has to be a new game. I believe the game needs to be either boost or adventure. I actually don't care what it has to be. I would rather it be boost so we can just get, because obviously there is like five boost, uh, five adventure games. And I think five boost games would just, you know, like mesh it out and then we could go back to adventure. But that's just my preference on that. Next thing I would say that we need is multiple characters in the game. And what I mean by that is that they need to bring back Tails, not classic Sonic, not the custom character. Like maybe a Tails, maybe a Knuckles to like dip their foot all the way in the water because um, they're, they're like bringing back multiple characters, but it's like very slim and not what people are expecting. So I would say that needs to be the next point of information to add back into the series. Even though I do want a lot of more 3D games, I do not want to count out classic Sonic. So for an example, I would prefer if we did get Sonic Mania to this anniversary, because I've heard a lot of speculation that they, people don't really want Mania 2 for the anniversary. I People want it maybe later on. I'm okay with it actually for the anniversary. I think since Sonic has been struggling with the games lately, mainly Forces, even though I don't think Forces was horrible, I just think it was average. Um, a, a Mania would be like a very, very, very good thing for them because obviously Mania 1 was amazing, but Mania 2, especially if it has more originality, it could be a top tier Sonic game of all time. Aside from the games, I know a lot of you guys like merch. So what do I think they should do for the merch? Obviously, Jack Specific is a powerhouse for Sonic the Hedgehog. They're making great figures and great plushies so far. Mm, unique plushies, I would say. I don't, I don't hate them. I don't love them, but they are definitely unique. But I do believe whatever this next new game is, or if they're going to be going with a 3D All Stars pack, like kind of like Mario, they definitely need to make like toys, um, shirts, everything like that off of this game. Continuing with my gut here, I do not believe that they are going to do the 3D All Stars pack. Kind of like Mario, I do believe that they are going to make a new game and probably release Sonic Mania 2. That is just my prediction. I don't believe I will be right, but I think it's a, it's a higher chance of them doing that than copying Mario for some reason. I, I don't know why, but that is just my prediction. But you may ask, what is backing up my point of there being a new Sonic game and not like a 3D All-Stars pack? Well, they did say major announcements, and usually when they say major announcements, it means something new. And for a fact, uh, we probably will be getting more games because they did not just say a new game, they said games plural with an S at the end. But even though we're having all this positivity at the moment, there is still a high percent that they could bust this all. Meaning, basically, what if we do get a new Sonic game, but it's just as bad as Forces? I mean, I never said that the next new Sonic game could be good, but I expect it to be better than Forces. Forces was a disappointment in my opinion. Now, I'm not saying the next game is going to be Sonic Forces 2, even though that does not guarantee a bad game, it just guarantees that it's a sequel to Forces. But what I'm going to say is, what if the next game is Adventure? What if it's like an Adventure style game, not an Adventure remake? But what if they get the Adventure formula wrong? That is going to make so many old fans horribly upset with Sega. Like, imagine them actually getting that wrong. Imagine playing as Sonic and he just doesn't have any momentum. I mean, sure, it sounds like Sonic 06, doesn't it? But I mean, they've been doing it right with Boost, so people will probably imagine that 
why can't they do adventure? I mean, adventure is slower paced in a sense. To be honest with you, I believe this anniversary is going to be a boom, even though there is a big chance of a bust, and this is how the bust is going to go. There's only going to be a select choice of games, like, let's say it is a 3D All-Stars pack, but they, like, really, really did the formula wrong. They're not ports, they're full remasters, again, for, I would say, new-gen consoles, even though I don't believe they will be on new-gen consoles. But let's say they do the 3D All-Stars pack, but for Sonic, obviously. And it's a big-time failure. Like, the adventure formula is horrible. Um, if they do Sonic Heroes as a third game, how the three uh, characters play is horrible. That could hurt so many older fans, and that could get them out of the series, basically. Now, I know I've already said this, but if they do have a new game, this is the only way that this anniversary could be a bust. Imagine. You're watching a direct or something that Sega is about to announce the game. They announce the game as Sonic and then insert the, the title, basically. And then you buy the game. It is actually a $60 game instead of a $40 game for the first time in a long time. And next thing that you know, it is a four-hour game. It is super simple. You don't have much control over Sonic. You only play as Sonic and it is a bad game. Wouldn't you lose trust in Sega? I know I would, because they literally just said major announcements, and then you would get a bad game? Like, sure, it is a major announcement technically, but major announcements mean good things in my opinion. But again, that's just my opinion. But what I do believe that they're going to do is that they're going to have a new mainline game, they're going to have a Sonic Mania 2, and this is going to be going down as one of the best, if not the best, Sonic anniversary of all time. Anyways, those are just my thoughts, and I want to hear yours. What do you guys think? Is it going to be a boom of an anniversary or a bust? I believe it's obviously going to be a boom, and every other Sonic fan hopes is going to be a boom. But that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you are new, subscribe. I do Sonic Plush content, and I am three subscribers away from 60, and I would love, love, love to get to 100 by the end of 2020 so I can play Sonic 06 for you guys. Anyways, I love you guys. Wear your socks. Peace.